Hi, Brad from American Millwork here. Uh, we're getting ready to put up the Fortitude wainscoting. And the first step is to prepare our wall. So what we're gonna do, uh, we've already removed the outlet covers and the switch plate covers, pretty straightforward with that. The next step is to remove the chair rail and the baseboard. So one step that's really important before you get started, grab a utility knife, and what you're gonna wanna do is score the top of the chair rail, uh, underneath the bottom of the chair rail, and then also along the top of the baseboard. And what you're doing is you're just scoring that caulk. Um, builders typically caulk the baseboard and it's an adhesive. So uh, if you just start pulling on the molding, you're gonna wanna uh, peel the paint off and you don't want to do that. So my tip is start on the corner, kind of get that going, and then uh, you can get your baseboard removed. All right, so uh, tools you might need. I uh, mentioned the utility knife. You're gonna use that to score the caulk and get that cut away from the wall. Um, Hammer is always helpful. Doesn't really matter what kind, as long as it's got a claw on the back. And then uh, there's a million different kinds of pry bars. This one's pretty big. I don't know if we'll use it uh, to remove this particular molding and chair rail, uh, but a small one like this is really handy. Uh, and then um, the painter's five-in-one tool, great tool to have. It's got a nice sharp edge on it and you can use that to start prying the molding away from the wall. All right, so one thing when you're removing your molding, the number one thing you wanna do is not damage the wall. Um, and unfortunately, one of the consequences might be breaking the mold. We're not gonna be reusing this, so still wanna be careful. You don't wanna create a bunch of scraps, but uh, it will probably break off as you're doing this, and that's okay. Another tip as you're working your way down, um, the number one thing you don't want to do, uh, unless you're out right on top of the stud, if you're in the middle of the wall and you're using a pry bar like this, it's really easy to dent the drywall. Um, I've even broke all the way through it before. So if you want to support it, you can take a scrap piece of wood, um, you can just put it behind your pry bar. That just gives you a bigger surface so you're not pushing right against the drywall to break through. So that's something that uh, I've, I've, I've learned along the way. So. Coating. And in the next video, I'll show you how to install the base and the shoe molding.